What's up people, in today's video we'll be talking about shopping on Konga versus shopping on Jumia. Jumia and Konga are the two biggest e-commerce operators in Nigeria undoubtedly and by extension in Africa and today I'm going to be comparing shopping on Jumia versus shopping on Konga. And if you're new here, my name is Anato Green, I'm an online content developer, a YouTuber, a UX developer and designer. Hit that subscribe button and Note that this video is not in any way sponsored by either Konga or Jumia, but it's just my own analysis based on my own experience of years of shopping from both Konga and Jumia. In fact, the ring light that I'm using currently in my recording was gotten from Konga, while the phone I'm using currently to record this video, yes, I'm using a phone, was ordered from Jumia. I've ordered my fan, I've ordered my bed from Jumia, ordered some other stuff from Konga. So believe me when I say it, I kind of am an authority on shopping from these platforms. Now, the question that comes to mind for a whole lot of people, first of all, is should I even shop online? Should I even shop online? So we see a whole lot of uh, what I ordered versus what I got in real life and on social media and people saying, vowing that they will never patronize online stores ever again. Is it even right shopping online? Especially expensive stuff like 4K televisions, Apple laptops, expensive phones like the Samsung Galaxy or Note 20 Ultras that I reviewed earlier in my videos. You can see the link up there. For me, my experience has not been so bad because the good part about shopping online is this number one is that you get to see a whole lot of reviews from independent people in most cases you get to read about independent reviews from different buyers verified buyers secondly i have that love of being able to return stuff both on jumia and on conga i'll still get into the details of that but both on jumia and conga i can simply buy stuff probably handset just like the phone i'm using currently um when i got it i had a, a free mind that well if the phone doesn't work um there isn't a way i should test the phone within seven days and i wouldn't see the fault in it so if it's not what i ordered what i intended for i can easily return the device i will go online seek for a return and refund i can drop it off at any of their stores or they can come and pick it up from my place and i will be refunded to the very single last penny that i spent on their sites to buy such um stuff so to me that is an advantage a big advantage because sometimes you could buy stuff from roadside stores and when you try returning it it becomes an argument i've seen a situation i went to car care the other time to repair a phone and somebody was there ranting that he got the phone off car care store and after a couple of days or weeks the phone got bad and they are saying they do not refund they can only repair and you know what that means repairing just a phone that was recently acquired so stuff like that makes me feel like it's okay to go to the store and uh, make inquiries see whatever i want to buy but then if i want to order i feel comfortable also ordering online like the 64 gigabyte memory card i'm using recently using now for recording i saw it online when i went to the shop to buy that's another advantage also the advantage of price of price differences competitive pricing on shops most shops will tell you well this is our price we don't we can't go back that on that but then on on sites like jimmy and Koga, because there are multiple sellers up there you can easily browse through if you have the time and you get the best of the deals you want the memory card 64 gig memory card i got i'm in nigeria by the way i bought that at uh, at 3,800 Naira, including the shipping was just about 3,900 and I had to just go like, a bus stop away from my house to the Jumia pickup station and picked it up and since then I've been enjoying it. It's wonderful. I've not had any complaints. Now coming to shopping on Konga versus on Jumia, the number one difference that I've actually I came to realize between shopping on Konga and Jumia is their interface. Jumia has spent, to me, from what I've seen, from what I experienced, Jumia has spent a whole lot of money and time on their engineers and on building a far more superior platform. 
I have an issue on Conga most times when I visit on their application and the Conga application I'm usually unable to do a whole lot of things like if I add something to my wish list as by liking it later on I may not be able to see that thing in my wish list to just go off but stuff that I added on my wish list on Jumia even two years ago are still there they may have gone out of stock but I still can see those products in my wish list so that is the number one thing the platform of jumia is actually stronger for me than conga that is one advantage that uh, jumia has over conga another advantage that jumia has over conga is the fact of their returns is the uh, speed of their returns the ease of their of the of returning stuff that you buy on jumia now if you get there they have of course a, a return policy but if you get stuff on jumia it's far more easier to return it they can even tell you if you've changed your mind you can bring it back within seven days anyway not beyond seven days but i say if you're buying uh, something in the other category where jumia choice products where you can return within 14 days but for other products that you can return within seven days if you have not damaged it if you just bought a phone for instance and it had an issue i can or it doesn't fit the description right i can easily tell jumia that men i've changed my mind about this or this wasn't what i expected to get i got something different from what i saw on the website the size doesn't fit and stuff like that and i can just apply for a return and it goes and they could come and pick it up or i could go and drop it up at their stores and i've never actually returned stuff to jumia and it was rejected as ineligible for return but then conga has that issue there was the other time i bought stuff from uh something from conga and i wanted to return it the first thing conga will tell you after you've sent them an email or call them is that you have to make a video can you imagine that you have to make a video of you using the product and showing them whatever fault that that has man that is a hell of a stress and they're telling you to make a video with this stuff showing us the diff the, the fault that it has and imagine me making a video about the memory card fault for instance or making a video about um a clothes that I bought from you so i have to wear the cloth probably show myself around so you see uh what defect that the cloth has and stuff like that so it's much more cumbersome i understand what they're trying to do anyway conga has made returning of product to be more difficult for the sake of their own business also because uh, there are some people who actually play pranks with uh, e-commerce stores since they are nearby you can just order probably test it out and return it so they are trying to probably protect their business they, that's why they make it more difficult for people to return stuff so it's bottom line is that it's more difficult to return stuff on on conga than it is to return stuff on jumia then um what advantage these two things are the major things i've seen as the advantages that jumia has over conga i wouldn't say that jumia has more products uh i see a whole lot of products but i'm still coming to that though uh that will be an advantage that conga has over jumia not the other way around so yes that is it um for jumia jumia's advantage over conga now coming to conga's advantage over jumia conga has a whole lot of uh things a whole lot of things you may want to buy right here in nigeria i don't know how exactly they do it i don't know how they source their sellers or what information they give to their sellers so there are a lot of things that you want to buy on jumia and when you click on them you will see it's to be shipped from abroad and you know shipping from abroad means that you have to wait for within 14 to 30 days before such thing gets delivered into nigeria and you have to pay additional fee for the delivery from outside nigeria into nigeria so that gives you two disadvantages you're paying more for the product and you are also waiting uh for a longer period of time of course you might not technically not pay so much uh, you may even pay lesser for items that are shipped from abroad 
but then the time spends let's say you want to have a wedding and you want to order a shoe for instance and you have to wait for two weeks or three weeks or four weeks before it comes in and maybe your wedding is just around the corner so that may not actually work out well for you but then on conga most of the things i've gone on conga to search for are available on conga life not that i have to go uh, waiting online for two weeks three weeks or four weeks as it is on jumia so that's one advantage that i've seen that conga has over jumia and then um sometimes some things i've actually seen like some laptops have actually compared prices on jumia versus prices on conga i've seen some laptops some phones being offered at cheaper rates cheaper prices on conga than on jumia so that's another thing you may want to compare before you decide on which one to go for either you shopping on conga or shopping on jumia about the quality of the product um basically some people say that um they buy more high quality stuff on conga than on jumia but i really can't say um i have that bias because i've bought stuff on conga that i had to return i i bought stuff on jumia that i had to return so i think sometimes it's just based on the seller the dealer who you are who you get to fall into or who you get to get merged with to buy from so that's the thing but um one other advantage i will say that jumia i didn't mention that earlier has over conga is that i see a whole lot of more a whole lot of product reviews on jumia than on conga i don't know the exact reason why that is so but probably because jumia gives keeps popping up this notification for people who buy from jumia to review what they bought review where they picked up their stuff review stuff so that it can make the experience of the platform better and help other people make smarter decisions so currently there is a black uh, friday going on on jumia started on the 6th of november running all the way to i think 26th or 24th of november thereabout and there is something similar you know based on competition going on on conga so if you want to take advantage of this i've provided links below where you can click on to please follow through and make your purchases see just go through the link search for whatever you want to search for and then um you will be able to purchase make orders just give it a try you can try with something small and then from there you scale up to something bigger and then um yes so one other advantage you may want to consider on shopping on online versus uh offline is that ability to uh, see a whole lot of options see a whole lot of options see a whole lot of options there are some things that i've ordered online that i i can't even imagine where would i have gotten that offline like i would have gone to the market started walking around asking a whole lot of questions but i ended up just searching for it on jumia or conga and i bought it there so as i said earlier this video is not sponsored by conga and it's not sponsored by jumia it is my own personal unbiased um review of the two platforms so you can you don't have to take my word for it anyway you can go make your own findings buy stuff from these places see how it goes from here from me to you my name is anato green please use the links below and hit on that subscribe button if you're yet to do so like the video share the video invite other people let's build this anato green here and then thank you so much for staying around for watching and from here from me to you wakanda forever r.i.p bosman thank you so much for guys for watching and till very soon when my next video will drop see you all and take care